Guardian angels and spirit guides are universal. All revealed religions talk about angels and guardian angels. Pastor Adrian Green from West Harrison, Indiana, USA wrote in his local newspaper advice column, Angels are glorious beings who encounter us all the time. Few of us are sensitive enough to spot them. Fewer still are people who, while having an encounter, will recognize the occasion and take full advantage of it. You are a deeply sensitive person if you felt their presence, seen them or interacted with them in any way. In the Muslim Quran, chapter 86, 1 to 6, it says every soul has a guardian angel. 86 colon 4 there is no soul except souls that have guardian angels over them. Quran 6 colon 61 verse 6 colon 61, he, God, has all power over his, God's, servants. And he, God, sends, two angel, guardians, observers, watchers, listeners, over you, to record your deeds, until death comes to one of you, humans, when, at death, our messengers, of death, the angel of death, take your soul without failure, of this duty at the appointed time, dot. Again in the Quran 50 colon 17 states, there are two, angels assigned to each person, listening, one, angel, sitting on the right, recording the righteous deeds of that person, and one, angel, on the left, recording the evil deeds of that person, dot. Angels are also mentioned in the sacred as well as in the profane disciplines. Raymond Bucklands writes, our guides occupy an infinite array of spiritual dimensions and may have never incarnated at all, or they can be family members and friends who we have known in this lifetime, and who have since made the transition to spirit. Whoever they may be, guides have a keen interest in your development as a soul, and they work with you as personal teachers to inspire, influence, motivate, protect, and direct you throughout your lifetime. Many of your guides have been with you in a variety of lifetimes, some show up for one lifetime, or for a portion of your life, or even perhaps just a fleeting moment. Guides are our friends, helping us to complete our destiny. Tanya Carol Richardson who is a professional intuitive, giving readings to clients all over the world and author of seven non-fiction books including Angel Intuition, summarizes the following about angels. Archangels are at the head of the angelic hierarchy. She says, guardian angels are yours exclusively, and we each have more than one. They have devoted their lives to helping just you. Spirit animals might be a pet you once had who passed away and is now part of your spiritual guidance squad. Owning your gifts, or the wolf showing you the importance of getting your survival needs met. She says, ascended masters like Buddha or Mother Mary were once human, living journeys of deep spiritual growth and influence. My guides have told me that all ascended masters are partners and work together in harmony. Loved ones or family members who've passed on may choose to be one of your spirit guides and actively support you from heaven by helping you in very practical ways, like sending career opportunities or nurturing relationships your way. Any human who has passed on might become a spirit guide for you. If you're a dancer, you could have a spirit guide on your team who was once a dancer. Angels on British side during World War I. There were witness accounts of angels being seen on the side of the Allies during the Battle of Mons in Belgium on August 23, 1914. On 22 to 23 August 1914, the first major engagement of the British Expeditionary Force in the First World War occurred at the Battle of Mons. On September 29, 1914 Welsh author Arthur Mackin published a short story entitled The Bowman in the London newspaper The Evening News of September 29, 1914. Mackin wrote about Phantom Bowman from the Battle of Agincourt summoned by a soldier calling on St. George. Manchin's story described a row of shining beings with bows and arrows in front of the British soldiers protected the outnumbered British soldiers and their allies against the Germans. Another story tells of David Ludlow who heard the same story about the angels from his granddad, William George Ludlow, who was 17 during the Battle of Mons. 